Is anyone on? Hello? Guys, it's called Connect so we can talk. Don't abandon me in my time of need. Lana? Jackson? Anyone? Bevan? Sometimes people put their phone down in the cafeteria, Simone. I'm appled up and on my way. Good. I told student council this would be perfect. The last drone hook is done, and Project Candygram needs everyone on the ground ASAP. I thought we were flying drones, so technically in the air. Lana, that's terrible. OK, everyone, make your space now. <laughs> Jackson, your plane filter means you are here. But I need you here, here, now. Ugh, seriously? How'd you do that? I aimed my phone at the ground when I walked in so you wouldn't see me. Yeah, but why? Would you have laughed at the airplane filter otherwise? The laugh matters, that's why. Whoa. So how many drones at once? I'll explain when Bevan gets here. Oh, perfect. Hey, Bevan. Uh, what are you doing, Bev? Trying to figure out how to code a gymnastic sequence in my new game. I want to rotate the screen, but with less nausea than this. <sighs> okay. Project Candygram has to be amazing. That's why I need you guys, six drones, one to each wing of the school. I program them all in this flight path app. Lana, can you check them? Uh, yeah, throw it up on Connect. Okay. Yes, I see what you're doing here. These, filled with the best candy online, for like, no budget, for every lucky row at high student whose friends want to send them a hey -oh. What's this? Oh, that? is just my best invention yet. When the camera moves down, the candy bag drops. Oh my gosh, nice job, Ez. Right? Drones plus hooks plus programmed flight paths equals boom. Row it high, covered in candy. Some people on student council thought it wasn't possible, but this guy online programmed his drone to fly like a fruit Simone, fly. stop. Don't do anything. Wait, why? I love your candy hook, but you need to attach it the other way. The hook won't drop at the angle you have it. I oh, don't know. But we need to fly these right at noon. I promised the principal they wouldn't interrupt. Jackson! Jackson, go watch the lockers. A and don't let anybody touch the drones. Go watch a bag of flying candy go by and do nothing about it. Right. Jackson reporting live here from the lockers. I love a mute button. All right, and all fixed. Okay. You guys are great. I couldn't do this without you. I accept my payment in candy and lots. T minus, the belt is about to ring. In three, two, one. Drones up. Whoa, candy is flying. It's like a dream, but real life. But we're at school and I'm not flying. Don't distract us. Fly like a fruit fly, drop your candy joy. Uh, uh, uh oh, guys, doorway, Simone, someone's opening up. No! Ugh! No, my candy grams! Simone, I got a riddle for you, and I'm gonna time how long it takes you to get it. It's a puzzle from my escape room game. Okay, shoot. So, Paul is six feet tall, works at a cheese store, and wears size nine shoes. What does he weigh? Uh, does his weight affect his ability to escape the room? Not at all. Do we know what size pants he wears? We do not. Simone, do you know where the noise canceling headphones are? Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. What is that? The Mayfair Music Festival moved its submission deadline up by a month! But you say you're gonna submit a song every year. Yeah, well, this year was supposed to be different. But the deadline is tomorrow, and I'm stuck, and I'm freaking out. OK, I can see that. On a scale of 1 to 10, where are you at now? I will show you exactly where I'm at. Paul weighs 175 pounds, hot or cold. Freezing. Uh, what is that? This is my electrodermal transmitter, my anxiety tracker. It helps me manage my anxiety. This is my grade 8 science fair project. I was measuring stress levels in plants when they hear the sound of chewing, and I accidentally discovered that I react the same way as the plants. As in, you don't like the sound of chewing? Who likes the sound of chewing? I can measure my stress levels through my skin. Is it helping? 
It helps me track my anxiety. It doesn't get rid of it. Simone, you remember the time that I had to do a presentation on the space program in front of the entire school? That was a 90. Now, I'm an 80. Okay, uh, why is there a zero on here? That's never going to happen. <laughs> well, thank you for your support. Look, if I had a mistake meter it would never, ever have a zero on it. Besides, I've seen you do amazing when under extreme anxiety. So, what'd you get on that presentation? 92. See? You got through that, you can get through this. Paul weighs 600 pounds from all the cheese? No. What helped you get through that time? I talked to you. Hey, look, I'm a 60. 60 sounds like the right number to start writing your song at. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. And I'm unstuck! So, did I solve the riddle in record time? No, you did not. What does Paul weigh? Cheese. Paul weighs cheese. Oh, <laughs> oh well. I'm sure he ate a lot too. I'm thinking I'll get my mom to take me out for pizza tomorrow night. Sure, if you have nothing better to do. That was weird. You left so fast after school. I know, sorry, I just had to finish Bevan's gift for her party tonight. What gift? I wrote three new music samples to use in her game. Listen to this. Bought a cute new drive to put it on, too. No, no, I mean, what party? Her birthday party. She's turning 15, remember? Bevan's having a party? Well, my phone's working, so not like I missed a text. Have fun. I'm sure she just forgot to tell you, Simone. Well, she didn't forget to tell you. I'll see you later, okay? Oh! Where's everyone? Lana's on her way. And Jackson? I guess you'll see him after school. Guess you won't. It seems like I can't. You could if you came to my party, but you're too busy working on your arm circular. Servo motor. Uh, wait, what? You're obviously too cool to come to your friend's birthday is all. Bevan, you didn't invite me. Oh no? Remember this? Broken Link. I thought you were sending us part of your game. It's not just a game, it's an immersive VR experience. Sometimes you send stuff and then you take it down. I thought I missed that. Not a party invite. It was a link to the game. The party info was on the whiteboard. Your game is a whiteboard? Obviously. Look, here it is on the staging site. A bowling party? I love bowling. Oh, great, nobody else does. What, nobody could come? They didn't reply. Brad, Devin, Sarah, the two Caitlins. You. Oh no. Nobody got this. You, you weren't just ignoring me. No, and you weren't just leaving me out. No. But then how'd Lana know about this? We talked about in English with Jackson, and that's when I built the party invite, but I guess nobody got it. Uh, what's this repeat? Extra commands? That? That is a rookie mistake. Nobody's coming to my party because I missed a bug in my code. Who does that? Everyone, probably. You know how if you cry on your birthday, you'll cry all year? What if I code wrong for the next 365? Oh, Simone! No way. And first of all, impromptu ice cream bash after school? Aw, hashtag BFF Bevan bash. What a sweet post. Like this one? Who would post something like that? Jackson? What? Are you mad? What did I do? It's my potty and I'll cry if I want to? <laughs> How could you do this? I just signal boosted the Bevan Bash. You're welcome. Because at last check, it looks like everyone's coming. Everyone? Thanks, Jackson. Well, that's why I'm here. I need your help. You guys know Mandy? Polka dot Mandy. <gasps> yeah, she's coming. She talked to me in math class. But last period, she couldn't get far enough away from me. And I think it's because I have bad breath. What did you have for lunch? Tzatziki, onion rings. Uh, 
Or did I just answer my own question? Maybe. We could test your sensitivity to garlic and onions if you want. Bevan, feel like making a run to the cafeteria? One less girl grossed out by Jackson is a good thing. What are you thinking? So, chewing garlic or onions creates a sulfur-containing molecule. If we test your breath for it, we'll find out how super sensitive you are. Me sensitive? Food sensitive. Sorry. Uh, grab a microprocessor and LED lights from the bins. Oh, and a gas sensor. Brilliant. I think, and I hope. What are you guys still doing at school? Helping Jackson with his love life. Wow, you really like a challenge. Hey, I heard that. Oh, you're in for a treat? I think you're enjoying this a little too much. No amount is too much. Blow, we need a baseline. <sighs> Perfect, all green. Alrighty, roasted onion hummus, go. Not bad. Okay, parsley palate cleanser. Raw onions. Tzatziki. Jackpot, four bars. Oh, raw garlic. Why bother? Do it. Okay, four bars again, and we have our answer. So for me, tzatziki is like eating a clove of raw garlic. No wonder why Manny was avoiding me. I mean, you could carry this with you and test your breath in case you want to talk to her. Or you could just not eat tzatziki around girls. Your choice. Okay, everyone, I think it's time to go to Bevan's party. Yeah, you'll find me parked beside the bowl of plain chips. Mm, the things we do for love. Uh-oh. I, I lost it? This is not happening. Not happening. <laughs>